Confirmation is like your church college. It's where you get to explore Him and explore your church more and what they're about and if you want to stay there. Okay, I have a bit of a weird analogy. You're just going to have to stick with me here. So, Confirmation is almost kind of like a bridge. It kind of leads you on to the next step. Like, you become more involved with everything. You're a real member. It's almost like a mental change because it makes you feel more at place, I think. I think confirmation is a safe place to grow in your love and understanding of God and to ask those meaningful questions that you have about Christ. Confirmation is like a journey because you get to go through our Founder's journey and how he struggled and how he made things better and how he grew in our church and how we need to grow with him too. Well, I feel like there are a lot of steps you kind of take along the way. As you get farther along in it, you learn more and more, not only about your own church, but also about like what your church believes, all of your core values and everything, and it helps a lot. You know, I think everything we do in life is like a journey, and I also think that our faith can be a journey, and I think that confirmation is a leaping off place for that journey. And I think that confirmation is a place where we can develop that fundamental set of ideas and really think about those things that we want to believe in and what our church believes in. And it's a time and place to ask those meaningful questions to the people around us who can answer those. I didn't, wasn't sure if I wanted to go into this church. And I think definitely now that I'm ready and I think I was just scared at the time. And, but now I'm definitely sure that I want to go into it. So. Well, like I talked about, it helped me learn a lot, not only what it means to be a Methodist, but also what it means to be a Christian, kind of acceptance, which is a wonderful part of it. I had so many questions going into it, um, and it's been about three years now, but you know, I had the questions answered, and then we had talks. We had talks about things I didn't even, you know, think about, about what our church believes, you know, and it, it's kind of impacted me because I found that what our church cares about is very similar to what I care about. Um, it most definitely awoke that I wanted to do this and that I can actually listen to these sermons and get what they're saying. And when they sing in the church, I know what they're singing about and how it impacted their life. And it definitely helped move me forward on my spiritual journey. And not only confirmation, but also especially the year following confirmation. Inside of me, confirmation awakened a love and devotion to Christ. And it also awakened this mentality of, of love and of a journey. And it developed bonds of the people around me. And it, it, it was awesome. And I think that it awakened this lifelong devotion to Christ. I would say don't miss out on confirmation because it's more of you're growing your faith, of course. Um, you get to make some friends. Um, you get to grow in your church and sometimes y'all give us snacks. Like I've said, it's a wonderful experience. It deepens your understanding of Christ and your personal relationship with Him. And not only with Christ, but also with your church, the people around you. It leads to more opportunities, more understanding. It can lead to deeper relationships with those around you who are outside of your church. It can lead to an overall just happier life. I would say don't miss out on confirmation because it's a time in your life where you can finally decide what you want to believe in. It's a time for you to explore, and it's a time for you to see, and it's a time for you to think, and it's a time for you to use those critical reasoning skills and think about what you really want to do and what you really want to believe in and what matters to you.
My best confirmation advice that I had ever received was from my mom, and it was mostly when I was having like those hard days where maybe I didn't want to go, or maybe I was unsure of myself, and I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do this, but her advice was always, I know that this is hard right now, but it'll only get better once you go through with this, and you'll only grow more and want to do and pursue it more. I feel like my best advice would be just enjoy it, because it's a wonderful time in your life. Enjoy it while it lasts, because it does not last nearly long enough. It goes by way too quick. With confirmation, what you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. I think if you go into it with this mindset of, oh, I have to be here, or you go into it with this mindset of, uh, you know, poor mindset, and, and you don't really involve yourself in the conversations, and you kind of just sit there, you're not going to get anything out of it. You are going to get so much out of it. You are going to get so many questions answered, and you are really going to be walking away after every meeting, after everything, with this mentality of, wow.